Say if you code in MATLAB, you will create a text file called a script. A script contains lines and commands to run. Scripts in MATLAB have a .m extension and are sometimes called m files. You can create a script in a couple of different ways. The easiest is to click on the new script button on the home menu. Alternatively, you can also use the command edit followed by the name of the script. Let's call the script example.m. When you do so, a dialog box will appear asking you if you want to create the script. Let's click yes. Once we do that, the editor will appear. Now one thing to note is that the name of the script appears in the tab. When we make changes to the script, notice that an asterisk appears telling you that the script has not yet been saved. Once we save the script, the asterisk will disappear. So let's go ahead and create a simple script to calculate the area of a circle with a radius of 10. As a reminder, the area of a circle is pi times radius squared. Let's start by creating a variable defining the radius. Radius equals 10. Now let's compute the area of the circle. Area equals pi times radius squared. Now we can run the script by clicking on the run button on the editor menu. One thing to notice when you run the script is that MATLAB also prints the name of the script in the command window. This is because you can also execute the script by simply typing in its name in the command window. For example, I can say example here, and the script will also run. Notice that when you run the script, MATLAB prints the output of each line out in the command window. This is useful when you're debugging a script but can really clutter up the command window if you're running a long piece of code. You can suppress the output of a line by adding a semicolon at the end of the line. However, in this case, I'm going to leave the line with the area without a semicolon because this is the value I'm interested in. Let's clear the command window by using the command clc. Now running the script again, you can see that only the area has a printout, but the radius does not. When you run a script, MATLAB will create variables in the workspace. You need to be a bit careful here because scripts will use variables in the workspace whether or not they were defined in the script itself. So for example, if I remove the line defining the radius, I can still run the script because the variable radius exists in the workspace. You have to be a bit careful here if you rename variables in your code. For example, if I rename the variable radius to radius of circle and update its value to 20. When I run this code now, MATLAB still returns the old area because it is using the old previously defined value for radius. To avoid this problem, you should start your scripts with the function clear bars to clear all variables in the workspace. Let's clear the command window with clc again. If I run this code now, we're going to get an error. MATLAB says that there is an unrecognized function of variable radius. And this is because the variable radius no longer exists in the workspace. And so you know that it is an incorrect name in your script. So we can go back in fix the problem and now the code will run.